Often I'm asked the question, are you having fun? I think of the psalmist, chapter 118, he says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. How we want to just look at every day as an opportunity to serve him, to love him, and to rejoice in him. Today we're going to look at Proverbs 21, 26. It says, He coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. All men are not equal. Diligent men are far better than lazy men. Giving is far better than coveting. Sluggards greedily lust all the time. Diligent and godly men give away liberally. The difference between the righteous and the wicked is very great. And it includes your work ethic and your giving. God sees all parts of the life and godly men are conscientious about the business at hand and their charity. They understand Proverbs 15, 3, the eyes of the Lord are at every place beholding the evil and the good. This verse is connected with the previous and the pronoun he is referring to the sluggard, the slothful person, the lazy man. The sluggard covets, he wants what he does not have and what he will not work for. He covets greedily by lusting far more than he deserves or knows how to use. He does it all day long, for he's not gainfully occupied with business and projects like other men. His lusts never leave, for the advantages and possessions of others constantly irritate him. The righteous man is very different. God loves him, and he loves God, and he also loves his neighbor. He works faithfully every day to provide for all his needs and to have left over that which he can give to the truly needy, never to the slothful. When he gives, he gives liberally. He never begrudges charity. He scatters his earnings. He's like the man in Proverbs 11, 24. There is that scattereth and yet increases. There is that withholdeth more than his meat, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Good, righteous men work to give. Ephesians 4.28 says, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. In 1 Timothy 6, 17, it says, Charge them that are rich in this world, they be not high-minded, but nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. They understand the blessing of giving. In Acts chapter 20, verse 35, it says, I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Good men care about giving, more about giving than getting, more about serving than being served, loving than being loved. It is more blessed to give than to receive, though seven men cannot convince a sluggard of the rule. Proverbs 26, 16. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason.